this video is brought to you by the supporters of my Patreon. If you'd like to support me in the show, check the description below for the link to my Patreon page. Alright, so this video is a thing. Howdy everyone, I'm Spirit and welcome to Artblog. I decided for the second to last episode of the season that I would do something completely different from my usual business of trying to be constructive and completely flip the series on its head. So for this episode, I found a video by Imaginatively Unimaginative where he roasts for sonas. And being the unimaginative hack that I am, I figured that I'd use the same format but add my own twist by making it any character from any franchise or concept. Zillion, the guy who made the video, also did this thing where for every character that has blue on them, he would take a sip of Red Bull. So sticking with the theme, I've decided for every character that has blue or some variety on it, there will be a counter, and at the end of the video I will take a bite out of a big oatmeal cookie for the total on the counter. Which, just to give a point of reference, I'm not a big fan of oatmeal cookies. Also, just a disclaimer to everyone watching this video, this is in no way meant to be taken seriously. This is just something being done for fun, and all the characters being used were submitted by the owners themselves. So yeah, let's get into it. <sighs> well, we're off to a great start. I'm honestly not sure if you're supposed to be the physical manifestation of those wildberry skittles, or if someone just added the wrong parts to a Pegasus toy in the process. <sighs> Another one already? Fine. I'll give you credit for one thing, despite being a combo of Lugia and Typhlosion, you managed to get those xenomorph dorsal tubes down. Oh crap, when did Spyro fuse with toxic waste? Oh wow, this is actually a pretty well designed character. It's also the first character I've seen whose tail comes out of the right hip. More purple, and there's also blue. I guess my real question is how you managed to get those wings through those tiny little holes in the hoodie. Yay, another character with blue on them. I can see the internalized pain in their eyes. That bone must be stabbing right into their skin right about now. Oh hey, it's a peritin with some actual natural colors on it. I also didn't know peritins had insect legs. <laughs> I absolutely love how in every picture and every angle she seems to be looking up at her forehead as if she's got a bug up there that just won't go away. I also question how an earth pony has a magic aura, but that's not important. <sighs> Dang it, it's more effin' blue! I will give you one thing though, you'll fit right in with Aperture Science Laboratories. Your head is looking a lot smaller than your body, you might want to check to make sure that that collar of yours isn't cutting off circulation. And another one for the pile. What's with the ponies and staring at a point on their face? This is like the third one. I sense a disturbance in the force. As if someone created a character in Pony Creator and decided to use the most saturated colors possible. Dang, this has got to be like the best Chrysalis X Discord ship child I've seen in a while. Crawling in my skin! Make sure not to get too close to the mic because it's gonna overload again! Ugh, gross. Get an eye patch on that thing before it gets infected, man. Also, how are you supposed to see if your only remaining eye has a cataract? Look, if you're trying to get the dog to take its pills, a piece of ham will do a lot better than a plushie. So question, how are you supposed to walk with those holes in your legs? Also, the end of your tail looks like a scorpion tail. God damn it, Skype, I don't need your stupid updates, go away. I love how there's a simplified version for animation when most artists won't usually keep track of every single stripe. Not to mention stripes are kind of impossible in hand-drawn animation unless you have the patience of a saint. Just saying. I actually really like the hijab, though your tail looks like it's stabbing into your back leg. Might want to use less hair products. Oh wow, I didn't know Kichi could dress so formally. So when did she become a unicorn? You look like you stepped in wet cement and it somehow gave you magical powers. Be right back, gonna find the nearest construction site. This OC looks like King Sombra and the asexual pride flag had a child, and then they decided to take it an extra step by going emo. Might have to call up Beauty of the Base, you're invading on their territory for most speakers attached to a character at once. Well, we had to have at least one with the inverted edgy eyes. Curse you for having blue accessories. Ugh. He's creepy. How many piercings can you fit on a lion's face before their ears fall off? The world may never know. Okay, I'm gonna get crucified for this, but that's... That's one sketchy character. Oh hey, Voice of Reason got a haircut. So, are you a bat demon or a snake demon? Not gonna lie, my eyes are actually burning from the bright neon blue of the pastel character. Surprisingly, this isn't the first OC I've seen based off of Pikachu. You look like the love child of the Tylicity ship despite Ty and Eli both being male. You and Amy Rose would be good friends. Also, curse you for being blue. Is that horn sticking out of your neck or is that just your ear? Either way, you're not blue, so you get a pass. 
You look like you have a bread roll on your cheek. Since when did Haida become a police officer? God damn it, it's another blue character! I'm trying to lose weight, not gain 20 pounds! Generic Fox is generic. You know, I take my comments back on the other characters. You might be the edgiest. Also, nice Pop-Tart. I didn't know they worked as breastplates. Hey, it's another pony with crossed eyes. I approve of the floof, though. Oh, come on! So, our total number of characters out of the 40 OCs I looked at, 23 of them had some version of blue. So, to live up to my promise, here's me taking 23 bites out of a big oatmeal cookie. Alright everyone, moment of truth. Yeah, I couldn't find an actual giant cookie that was oatmeal raisin because I live in the middle of nowhere and there's no bakeries that currently host like any form of giant cookies aside from chocolate chip. So, I went to Panera and I guess I'm just gonna have to take itty bitty bites. I'm sure I can get 23 out of this thing. But first we're going to get a glass of water. So my history with oatmeal cookies is not exactly great. Like, I've had multiple cases where I've actually had to spit them out and it's, it's a long story. I don't care for them. Alright, so here it is. Here's the cookie and here's the cup. And the cup is only like, like if you look at my hand here, this is not a very big cup. Like, my palm is maybe four inches across. So I'm thinking what we can do is in order to consolidate for it, I'm going to cut up the cookie and eat it in itty bitty pieces. Shut up, fridge. I'm going to need brute force here because this cookie. It's looking like if you look really closely, you can see, I think those are cranberries. It said like, I don't know, let's read what it said. It says like, Oatmeal and raisin and cranberry in it, so. Well, that's just great. This cookie's more stubborn than I thought it would be. So that's. Oh. Of course it is, you stupid cranberries! Cranberries are ruining the magic. How am I gonna get this into 23 pieces if this is how inaccurate this process is gonna be? I don't really care if these are in actual sizes, but I'm just trying to break it down in the sort of fraction format. So what we can maybe do is, I'll cut these into, because these need to go into thirds. So maybe what I'll do is, let's line them up. This, oh, let's see. One, two, get off. Four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I'm gonna get to editing this and I'm gonna realize how many times my hand was in the frame and it's like, curse you. Either that or I just made the mistake of recording on a phone. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so one bite of cookie for every character that had blue and I had Oh, actually, I only had 23, I think, that had blue on them. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this big boy, and he's not going to go in my mouth because screw you cranberries. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with this one. Oh, that's, oh, that's tart. I was expecting it to be like, I was expecting it to be tart, not that tart. I'm already regretting this already. It's only piece number two and I'm regretting this. Let's see how far we can hold off on this too. Why are there so many cranberries in the oatmeal raisin cookie? Would it be cheating if I ate multiple of these at once? Just stuck a couple in my mouth at a time, so that... Yeah, that's not gonna work. I think I've gotten to the point in the cookie where it's mostly oatmeal, so it's all... Nope, cranberry. As soon as I'm about to say it, it's like, oh, this is getting to the point where it's tolerable. Nope. Why did I spend almost three dollars on this thing? Oh right, it's because no one else makes these. I would like plug my nose, but that's not that's not a fitting. It's not a fitting punishment. I think this. Oh come on. I was about to say I think this one might be sans cranberry. 
Well, screw you too. I shouldn't talk with my mouth full, but this wouldn't be any enter this wouldn't be entertaining if I wasn't talking. <laughs> <laughs> Big cranberry. Ugh. Okay, screw this. I'm I'm taking I'm gonna take like four and just put them in my mouth, the four little ones. Why are there so many cranberries in this one cookie? This cookie was like four or five inches in diameter. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This one's next. Okay, you're going into track. I don't know if you guys can hear me chewing on camera, but I am legit eating these. Like, I'm gonna have to cut this down a lot. This is just... Mm. Let's, let's hope. This looks like it was part of the same piece, because it's actually two pieces, but it looks like it was part of the same, like, same piece. I made it through, though. Let's get some water. <laughs> actually, tears. See, this is what happens when you eat cranberry cookies. And that's about it for today's episode. Different from the norm, but I had fun with it. A big thank you to my friend Tricky Fox for editing this video. I've been incredibly busy with moving, traveling, and working, and he was incredibly kind to edit this for me while I tried to get everything done. Please do check out his channel if you haven't already. He makes great content and deserves more love, especially on his non-pony related stuff. If you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. It supports me and is practically free. Also be sure to follow me on Twitter and DeviantArt where I post artwork and updates about the show. Want to chat? I have a Discord server where you can do just that. Patrons get their own special rank, and I'm pretty active on there, so be sure to check the description for the links to the above mentioned. Thank you all for watching, I'm Spirit, and I'll see you next time.